Well, if you're working from home, and so many people are, you probably have roommates or a partner that's around, and you've probably had some very frustrating moments. Yeah, needing space to take a call or competing for Wi-Fi, the problems, they're endless. But one Vermonter moved back home in the, in the beginning of the pandemic to start a business and present a much needed solution. We literally rented the last car out of the city. These two New York transplants establishing some roots along the Winooski River. We headed up here and we were both working remotely for a while. They quickly learned the challenges that came with working remotely. Small apartment, competing calls. This is one of our larger conference rooms. Here's their solution. It's called MyCube. Being able to rent your own very specific cube or conference room where you're you're sure you're going to have that designated space to yourself. You can rent by the hour or the day. I can work out of my house, but I prefer to be in a space a little more structured around some other people. Bethany Whitaker has rented a cubicle several times over the last month. She says she's always been a remote worker, but the pandemic changed her day to day. I traveled a lot and now I'm not traveling and I always worked at a shared space. The shared space that I worked at before closed down. It's just good to have a little bit of separation from home and work. And that's the goal for the co-founders. What we've seen is better work-life balance for a lot of people because of this, and we're all for that. They're betting on businesses turning to them, too, with the future of working in one big office space in flux. If they've had success working remotely, then maybe they don't want that traditional real estate, and maybe um, having a conference room a few days a week is actually a better, um, more economic solution.